In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to set and choose specific team player faction models to be spawned on your map. So for example, let's say you want the Balkans for the T-Team versus Seal Team 6 for CT-Team, just like in D-Train map. Or maybe you want the Anarchists for T-Team versus FBI on a CT-Team, just like in CS Office map. To do this, you need to create a text file with .kv extension. And inside this text file, you will define which team gets to spawn as what player model. Before you get started, make sure you have inserted player starts for both CT team and T team. You should also have your map already compiled. When your map is compiled, it gets placed inside Steam installation folder into Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, and Maps folder as a .bsp file. This is your compiled map file. Inside the same folder, right alongside our .bsp map file, is where we want to create our .kv file. So let's go ahead and do this now. I'm going to right click, select new, and choose text document. You want to name this document the same name as your map file. So in our case, it's going to be de underscore wold dot, and we want to replace txt with kv, and press enter. When this menu pops up, Click yes. We now have our .kv file. Let's go ahead and delete this kv file because I'm going to show you a second way to create it. So you have another option. Open up notepad, then go to file, save as, navigate to the same directory and into the folder where your map BSP file is stored and name this file with the same name as your map. And click Save. This is going to give it a .txt extension and we just want to replace it with .kv and click Enter. This is going to ask you if you want to change it and click Yes. We now have our map file and our .kv file in the same folder. We now want to open this kv file in order to edit and define which team gets spawned as which player model. To edit KV files, open it with Notepad and just drag this file right into it. You can see that it's now opened. We now have to enter text that lets the game know which player models will spawn for each team. I'm going to copy and paste this text from a template that I already have. And if you are on the website, just scroll down to the blog post notes and you'll be able to copy and paste the same template. You will also be able to find the same text in the description of the video. So I'm going to come back to our KV file and hit Ctrl V to paste. Now with this pasted, let's go ahead and save first. And now we can go through and edit this. The first thing we want to change is the map name here and here. Input the name of your map. Next, you want to define T models and CT models. You will have five to six different variations depending on the model being used. And this defines which models get spawned for T team and CT team. And then once you have these set, you have to define T arms and CT arms. And these should match the T models and CT models. You will find the complete list for T models, CT models, and the correct arms in the blog post. For CT team, let's use FBI. So I'm going to copy and paste everything inside the brackets, select it, control C, and paste it right underneath CT models. Now let's grab the correct arms, copy this entire line, and paste it right here, replacing this line. 
for terrorist team, let's use the anarchist. Let's copy everything inside the brackets and paste it right here, replacing these brackets and the text inside. And let's grab the appropriate arms and replace the T arms here. Let's go to file, save. Now all we have to do is launch Comma Strike and test it. When you are ready to upload your map to Steam Workshop, your KV file will automatically be uploaded with your map's BSP file as long as both of these files are in the same CSGO maps directory. And the last part of this tutorial, you could play around with different model types for each team. So let's say we wanted the anarchist for T team versus the professionals on CT team. So let's grab the T model, copy, and we're going to use this for CT models. Now let's grab the arms and paste them under CT arms, making sure that we keep CT arms text. So all we're doing is setting a different model, which is usually used for a terrorist team, and we're defining that model under CT models. So we'll have the anarchist versus the professionals. Let's go ahead and save and test. 